guys welcome back to a very windy afternoon this is the last weekend of trolling on most of the lakes that I fish up here in Maine and I'm trying to finish it off in the season with a lake trout or two um, I'm on a lake that has lake trout and brook trout I'm putting out a bigger spoon I think this is a three and three quarter inch and I think we got a fish on this one here oh How's that? A little sunfish to start the day. So we're gonna get this one out guys and uh, hopefully tie into a lake trout. That's my primary goal. I do have a rod behind me here. And if I start seeing fish on bottom, I'll jig for lake trout as well. And I'm gonna be focusing in 50 feet of water or less. You know, my initial plan is gonna be anywhere from 20 to 50 feet. I don't plan on going much more than that. And with that guys, we're gonna get right into it and uh, hopefully tie into a lake trout or two. Oh, fish, 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 fish. All right, got it, whatever it is. Feels a little bigger than that sunfish I just caught. I was down about three colors on this one, about 30 feet of water. All right, we have a little itty bitty native brook trout baby nice brook trout in the net just a little baby all right guys just a real quick shot of this fish nice native brook trout uh, these are all native in here there's no stocked fish there's no stocked brookies in here fish number one down super excited that was a nice little native something on this rod here. I think we got a fish on. Yep, fish on. Uh, feel, yep, definitely a fish on. Very lazy hit, probably a lake trout. And this is definitely a lake trout. This thing barely bent my rod over. I was shocked to hit it and I think it was just kind of swimming with the boat. This is my target fish. This is my target fish. Yep, laker. Let's see if I can get him in. Come on, baby. Got him. Lake trout in the net. Target fish in the net. Not the biggest, but I'll take it. Strong fish, even though it's not a big one. It is quite strong. All right, just a quick shot, guys. Lake trout. Just a small one, but I'll take him. That's a good start. All right guys, nice. Target fish down. See some more on bottom. I was in about 40 feet of water, down about 20 feet. Oh, fish, fish. Nice fish. Feels like a decent one. 25 feet of water. I was down about 15. Nice brook trout. Beautiful brook trout, guys. Beautiful. Just being very gentle with them. All right, guys, just a quick shot of him. Stunning brook trout. All right, getting them back. All right, guys, so this is kind of where the brook trout seem to be hanging. A little shallower. It's the second time I've come through here and I've hooked up with a brookie each time. And if you guys saw my last video, killer spoon, orange, black dots. Like I said in my last video, I haven't found a lake that this thing doesn't work on. Oh yeah, nice mark. That's a laker. Down probably 40 feet. I'm gonna get my rod out and I'll show you guys real quick. So this is what I saw just before I caught that last lake trout. I saw an isolated mark just like that. And that's really the only part of the lake where I'm seeing isolated marks like that. So maybe this is where the lake trout are hanging out. 
I'll be over that fish in another couple minutes, minute or two. And that'd be cool if we can get that, because that fish was right under me. Uh, I can see some red signatures on it, which means it's a pretty sizable fish. And uh, hoping we tie into that one. Well, it looks like a swing and a miss on that one, guys. Oh, nope. Nope, just a... Okay, fish on. What are the chances of that? Oh, this one's much bigger, guys. This one's decent. This one's decent. This is a much bigger fish. Oh, please, yeah, he's still on. So I was just getting ready to say that that fish was a swing and a miss. And this is like, I'm 98% sure this is that fish I went over. It was a nice big mark. Um, I was just getting ready to say it was a swing and a miss. Literally just as that fish hit. Yep, nice fish guys. I can just kind of fight this fish. Drifting now. This is definitely a bigger lake trout. I'm just going to take my time with him. The wind's actually blowing me towards the fish. As long as this fish doesn't get hung up on bottom, we'll be golden. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we're hung up. Yep, I think he buried me on something. This fish hung me up on bottom. I'm in 36 feet of water and he hung me up big time. He either ran me into some rocks or there's a tree down there. Dang it. Well, that's it guys, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. I'm gonna snap it at my leader. That is completely buried, whatever that is down there. Yep, ripped it. She broke. Ah, frustrating. While I'm here, I'm just going to see what is going on down there. See if I can pick my jig up. I did see some marks down there. I do see one lone something down there that looks like it's, I don't know, it could be a tree or something. This is what I marked um, right when I broke it off. This was directly under me. You can see it shoots up. Probably a tree. Could be a rock. It's hard to say. Either way, that was a nice fish. But just to summarize, guys, that's kind of a bummer. 90% sure that was that fish I ran over. Just as I was getting ready to say, we had uh, went over it. You know, that fish comes in and hits. But super bummed. That's how it goes. You know, I'm pretty sure that was a nice fish. It was certainly bigger than that last lake trout. And I don't know if I slacked up too much on it when I was reeling up this rod. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But either way, you know, the fish ran me on something on bottom, unfortunately. But that's how it goes. You know, you can't win them all. Oh, fish on. Jigging. Jigging. Good thing is I can horse these ones. Insane, guys. I'm in 40 feet of water. Just after I lost that nice fish, I tie into this one. Crazy. Crazy. Nice lake trout. Nice one. Come on, get him. Oh, Got him. Craziness, guys. Straight up craziness. I'm all disappointed about losing that lake trout and I tie into this beast. I don't even know what to say right now, guys. I'm kind of speechless. Nice lake trout, guys. That's probably six pounds, plus or minus. Nice, healthy lake trout. I'm just gonna get a quick shot of him and then we're gonna release him. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go. Should have more than enough life. I got him right in and I'm just gonna do a release with the net there. He's got more than enough life to just toss in. Awesome guys. I said I was all bummed out because of uh, that one I lost trolling. And I'd seen some marks down there and dropped down with this handmade jig and that fish came in and smoked it. I didn't even see him on my graph. I could see my jig down there. 
but I didn't actually see the fish come in. This is a handmade jig head, handmade fluke. I made these flukes a couple videos ago. And I'm just gonna take a break, guys. I mean, there's obviously big lake trout right here. So I'm gonna see if I can get another one of them. All right, guys, we have a nice school of bait. We have some fish around it. Um, as you can see, we're in 50 feet of water. This rod over here to my left is the one I've been running for my lake trout. And I have my lead core set to be going right through that. So I'm down about 35 feet and uh, hoping we hook up with some fish around this bait ball. Yep. 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 Fish on. Fish on. Yep. Fish on. Right through that bait ball. It's been pretty predictable today. Every time I see one on the graph, I've been getting hit. And this one feels decent, guys. I'm going to try to get this one up because I'm in the wind. I don't think it's as big as that one I lost earlier. And I gotta say, I'm a little traumatized from that last one I lost. I think we're gonna get this one though. Oh, another nice laker. Another nice lake trout. Come on, baby. In the net. Got him. Nice. Couldn't get any better than that, guys. Went over that bait ball. I knew there was some fish around it. Textbook. All right. Fish actually helped me out. All right, hooks out. All right. All right, got him, guys. Another nice one. There's a nice shot of him. I think it's a little bigger than that one I just jigged up but we're gonna get this fish back guys and uh, hopefully tie into another one. All right guys, getting them back. Should take right off. Yep, there he goes. And this is what that lake trout hit off of. This is all hand painted stuff I did. And you really can't get any better than that guys. I saw that fish on the screen and adjusted my lead core to where them fish were. And just as my Lure was going through there, one of them fish smoked it. And what a blast, guys. Um, on a new lake, you can't beat the fishing I got today. You know, this is certainly one of the better days I've had trolling. I love trying new lakes, and uh, this is the first time I've hit Lake Trout in this kayak. I don't think I said that earlier. So, you know, getting a new species in the kayak is always fun too, and uh, I'm super pumped, guys. We're gonna uh, head over into this brookie area and uh, see if we can hook up with another brook trout. That is a fish tree if I've ever seen one. This is uh, my brook trout stretch. I will be amazed if you do not pull a fish out of that. We should be getting hit off this rod here. I don't see any substantially bigger marks in there indicating that there's a lake trout hanging around. But it very well could be the predators, so they're gonna be, you know, wherever the bait are. Yep, we're on target. Oh no, rookie mistake. Still got him though. I had my free spool knob down. Yeah, classic guys. Saw that group of fish and uh, smoked them just as I went through them. Nice brook trout. And if this fish gets off, I'm not going to worry about it because we have a ton of wind right now. Yeah, he came off. Um, so yeah, nice brook trout. That was probably a foot. I don't mind that he got off because we have some insane wind right now. It's funny, that's right where them fish have been hanging pretty much all day. They haven't moved much. The uh, fishing slowed down substantially for some reason. I'm not sure why. We do have a uh, rainstorm coming in overnight, so I don't know if the pressure is changing, which uh, shut the fish off. But either way, guys, I am uh, super pumped with how today went. This is far better than I had expected. I was hoping to catch a few lake trout. I figured they'd be pretty small. I didn't think I'd get into anything like I did. Even the brook trout were a good surprise. You know, I didn't expect to really tie into any of them. And unfortunately, this is my last weekend trolling. The uh, Most of the lakes I fish are gonna shut off in a couple days and you can't fish them. And this time of year, I swap over to my river fishing for trout and salmon. So I'll be hitting that here in the next couple weeks. 
But we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I certainly had a blast. It was a heck of a day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.